Hello beautiful people, today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use Unity's localization. First we're going to start off with a new Unity project, per usual. We're going to go to Windows Package Manager first, and we're going to install the Unity localization. Once that's finished, I'm going to quickly create a empty game object. We're going to make a controller script. I'm going to call it con, short and simple. We're going to open said script. And at this time, I'm just going to create a simple public void change lang. We're going to add in an int variable. We're going to call this lang. We're going to leave that open for now, and we're going to save and exit it. Then I'm going to create a UI, Text Mesh Pro. Alright, and in this text, we can leave it as new text. And I'm going to paint it black to make it easier to see. Then we're going to go ahead and create a UI button. Move this up. Go ahead and name it. English, we're going to add an on click event. We're going to go to our controller. And we're going to put the changeling in, it's going to be zero. We're going to duplicate that two times. For example, in multiple different languages. And this one's going to be Spanish. This one's going to be German. And they're all going to have the same changeling button, but it's going to be one and it's going to be two. Alright, now that the setup's complete, we're going to go to Edit, Project Settings. It's going to pop up and I'll drag it over here. We're going to go to Localization. And we're going to create new. We're going to add a new folder. Locale, there and save, and then we're going to go to generate locale, and we're going to select the languages in which we did before, so English, Spanish, and German. You can select as many as you want to, we're going to create locales, we're going to press on locale folder, and select that once more, and then once that complete, we're going to reorganize this a little bit, I put Spanish as once, we're going to slide that up. And then we're going to choose the default locales, which is going to be English in my case. And then we're going to go to Window, Asset Management, and then Locale Tables. And right here we're going to create a new one by clicking on New Table Location right there. You can name it whatever you want to. We're going to press Create, also in the Locale folder. We're going to add a new key entry, and this one's going to be hello. English, hello, Spanish, hola, and German, hallo. We're going to save, exit. Then we're going to go over here to our text, the new text, inspector. We're going to go and add a new component called localized string event. We're going to select this. We're going to type in hello, which will appear right here. And we're going to press this button and slide over the text and go over here, click text. So now this will update the text and we can press save once more. And we can press play. And with this all being set up, you should have languages up here in the top right and this should change to the default, which would be hello. And then from here, I can change it to Spanish and German. So we got the basics out of the way. All right, and now we're going to move on to the script. So changing the language inside the game. We're going to open this up. And we are going to go localization settings. Dot select locale equals 
localization settings dot available locales dot locales lang. We're also going to add a player prefs. We're going to set the int. Lang. It's going to be our lang. So now every time something is pressed, it's going to save it. So next time they boot up the game, they'll be able to get that int. That's what we're going to change now. Now there is a slight delay in which it has to get the languages and set up the localization and such. So we're actually going to invoke a function that I'm going to call delay. And let's put 0.1f, so 0.1 seconds. We're going to create another private function and call it the same that we put up there. It's going to be delay. And in this function, I'm going to put int number equals player press get int and uh, you guessed it it is going to be ling and then from there we can call the change lang it's going to be the number and voila we can now click save and once it's done compiling we can press play. And from here, we should be able to change it to Spanish and German just by selecting these buttons. Now we're going to go ahead and build it. We always got to run the build. We're going to add open scenes, etc., etc. Build, projects, test. And then once that's run building, we can launch. And it'll resort back to the default English. And then from there, we can go to Spanish and German, etc. Next week, I'll go over how to handle special languages and characters, such as Japanese, simplified Chinese, and Thai. Thank you for watching.